Tristan has required a lot of medical care his whole life. So we've had nursing in our home since he was nine and then round the clock care since he was 16. Once you're out of school, you no longer are eligible for that service. Either I take care of him for the 138 hours he wasn't gonna get a nurse, which would not be safe for him, or he would have to go into a nursing home. And I don't think he would have lasted long there. Someone at work said, you know, why don't you call legal aid? And they took on the case. I mean, not only was I impressed with the quality of the lawyers legal aid, but the, the help they brought in. There were lawyers from the Tennessee Justice Center, there were private lawyers that they brought in, and I felt that when we were in that federal court Room, which was very intimidating, that we had just as much support as the other side. Legal Aid bought us uh, three more years at home with Tristan, which was amazing. These kids don't live as long as we do, so those days are priceless. Ben is a miracle. Oh, God put him here to change the world, and I feel in my heart, Ben can show people, yes, I've got Chiari, one of the brain. Yes, I have kyphosis. Yes, I have scoliosis. Yes, I have met P2 Rett syndrome, but I can succeed. He graduated with honors with a 3.3 with regular classes. They said that was impossible. And Ben said, my nan and I work two hours, six days a week. On Saturday, we work on Boy Scout badges. And I wouldn't have made it without my nano. My husband and I both are in our 70s, and we've raised Ben since a baby. And uh, we're not going to be around forever. Uh, I said, so, you know, we've got to have insurance for this boy. We've got to set Ben up to be able to live on his own. They took him off 10 care. He was going to be 18. He was on cover kids. The lady, she whispered to me, you need to call legal aid. And this precious Shelby Donson answered the phone, and she said, I, I don't see any reason why this boy won't get help. So then I started crying again, but it was tears of joy. Fifth month, they called and said Ben had received, a, thank God, he would have insurance. We think Legal Aid is a blessing from God, and we think Shelby Dodson is a champion. She is our champion and our star, and I, ben and I pray for her each and every day. And for Legal Aid, we pray that people will give. I was in a, an abusive relationship um, with my husband, physical and uh, verbal, and he also had an addiction to my medicines that I took for um, cancer treatments. And he would uh, be abusive to my daughter Kayla um, if she tried to stand up for me. I had just gotten married like a week before I was outside in the garage cleaning up my stuff. I came inside to get gloves and I heard my mom crying and I turned the corner and he has his hands on her neck holding her up against the wall saying that if you don't give me your medication, I will kill you. I screamed, you know, get your hands off of her, and he immediately dropped her and then came after me. For a long time, I blamed my mom, you know, why didn't you leave him sooner? Why, why did you force yourself to go through this? She sat me down in tears and she was like, you know, him come after the only thing in this world that I care about, that was what was eye-opening to me. Legal Aid Society gave my mother a reason to live when she needed it the most. Mom. I've always tried to stand up for you, especially when I know you were too weak to stand up for yourself. You taught me to be bold, brave, and never back down. I'm proud of you for multiple reasons. One of the biggest ones is being brave enough to take the steps you did in order to give yourself a better life, one that you actually deserve. Thank you for teaching me what it means to be a mother. I can only hope to make such an impact on my own children's lives.